Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're gonna do a little deep dive into Lady Deathstrike. Um, if you look in the game, you can see the bottom there. Um, they already have a deep dive official, but I like to do my own. We'll look at her kit, and I will talk a little bit about my reasonings of uh, ranking her up and uh, why I like her and where I see her um, being used. All right, so first let's take a look at her attributes. She is currently rank four. Uh, let's see here. All right, so this crit damage, that's a lot of crit damage, okay? Uh, her crit rating is a little low though. Now she's got an armor rating and a block proficiency combined means she's fairly tanky, okay? She doesn't have uh, any, it looks like they moved that, uh, physical resistance or energy resistance. Uh, at rank four, she has 42,384 health, 5,898 attack. All right, and her SIG is 126. Let's take a look at her synergies. Uh, so perfect block chance, which is cute, but yeah. Um, Omega Red, very good uh, champion to bring along. Sabretooth and Domino, we all know about Domino. Uh, we've got this enemies one down here, gives her more crit rating. Scroll over so we can see everybody. Okay. Not anybody that I would probably bring just for the synergy. I'll tell you that. 12-inch nails, cute. Uh, and the only synergy there is <laughs> anti-venom. All right, so while relentless and ferocity uh, passives are active, striking into the opponent's block with basic attacks passively gains 1.1% of max power. So that means she can build up very quickly. That can be interesting, but it is only while Relentless and Ferocity uh, passives are active. So that could be interesting. Now, here's one I really, really like. All right, now, she gains 33% armor up potency. Now, that may not seem like a really big deal, but we'll talk more about that later. But that's a good one. All right, and you have Sentinel and Omega Sentinel. Well, Omega Sentinel is awesome in her own right. And I can see myself bringing Omega Sentinel on the team with Lady Deathstrike along with Nimrod. Easily. All right, and now we got this uh, synergy hit. Now, I don't have a Weapon X in any form. So I do have Old Man Logan and I do have a uh, Wolverine. But check this out. When defeating X-Men, gain a cross-fight fury buff, increasing attack rating by 20. The fury buff potency increases by 200% when defeating any Wolverine. Now, this is kind of niche, okay? But that could be fun. That could be a lot of fun. Um, does Weapon X qualify? It seems like all of these three would qualify as a Wolverine, right? Old Man Logan, Wolverine, Weapon X. So, yeah, she looks like she's going to be a very hard counter, a very good counter uh, to Weapon X. All right, let's go over here to her signature ability. Now, um, I'm going to say that... She doesn't need to be awakened, but you want her awakened and you want her at a high SIG. You'll see that I've already taken her to 126. She's going to 200. So let's look at her signature ability. Number of hits in the combo required to gain an armor up is reduced to 15. She really likes armor ups. Okay. Now, that by itself, it's not that big of a deal, okay? It, it does help her ramp up her armor ups better. Ferocity also increases the potency of ruptures, 
by 7.67% at SIG-126 per armor up. So she's going to be doing more damage. For every 2.5% of the opponent's max health prevented by heal block, inflict a rupture debuff dealing 72% of Lady Deathstrike's armor rating as physical damage over three seconds. Do you remember what I just said with that synergy? 33% more potency? Well, that's increasing her armor rating. So it is actually going to increase her damage when she is preventing an opponent's healing. Okay, so she's got some good utility, but you'll see that while you want her awakened and you want a good high SIG, even without her SIG ability, she is perfectly usable. But if you get the seven star, because she is available as a seven star, the six star will out damage the seven star if the six star is awakened with a high SIG because it does significantly improve her damage. Okay? Now, this is what got me interested in this lady. Always active. Incoming bleeds and poisons potency is reduced by 90%, and the willpower mastery potency is reduced by 50%. Don't worry about that willpower mastery potency reduction. Okay? Let's focus on the bleed and the poison potency. Because at 90%, you're basically going to be getting a lot of willpower healing. So why reduce it to 50%? You're going to see later. But I also run Coagulate because I run the Recall Masteries. It looks like she is made to benefit from the Recall Masteries. She's not just Recoil Mastery friendly. She benefits from them. And if you have Coagulate, that 90% means now she is not going to take any damage from the bleeds at all. Works the same with uh, Omega Red. Now check this out. Against mutants, Weapon X is a mutant, by the way, Lady Deathstrike's ability accuracy cannot be modified. Do you know what that means? That means that good old Magneto can't do anything to her. That's right. Um, I believe she is... Let me, let me look real quick. Yeah, see? She is metal. You can see her attributes. But it's not going to matter. Because her ability accuracy can't be modified against mutants. Of which, Magneto is one. All nail attacks inflict a rupture dealing 75% of Lady Deathstrike's armor rating as physical damage. Got it? Her armor rating is important to her damage. So when you have that synergy and you go, oh, well, the armor rating, you know, you get a little bit of an armor rating buff. Yeah, it makes her tankier, yeah, but it also gives her more damage. More damage, okay? That's just always active, and that has nothing to do with her signature ability. OK, that third bullet is a niche fight. OK, they have to be healing. And you have the heal block on them. All right. Now, ferocity or ferocity, depending on how you want to say it, when inflicting ruptures or when struck, gain of ferocity charge plus one per armor up buff. You're starting to see how her armor ups play into her kit, they're very important to her kit, which to me means if you're fighting her, you're probably going to want an armor break champion against her. She doesn't seem to be very difficult to fight, but you want that armor break. You don't want her to have armor ups. At 75 charges, gain a ferocity passive for three seconds or nine seconds as a defender. Ooh, But start pause. Ferocity starts paused until Lady Deathstrike blocks an attack. While no armor up effects are active, ferocity expires twice as fast. Okay, so you want to give her an armor up. You want to get that ferocity. 
and avoid getting uh, hit into your block. I'm not too much of a fan of that. You know, it, you might be fighting someone who's stun immune. That's how you get some of your ends, you know. But don't worry about that. Not that big of a deal, to be honest with you. Uh, she's still going to be great. And you'll intercept more if you want to. Um, I don't know if... I think your parry does count here as a block. I mean, they do call it a well-timed block. I have to do some uh, testing on that one. While Ferocity is active, gain a bunch of attack rates. So basically, Ferocity means you're going to do more damage, but if you get that um, hit into your block, well, you see what happens, okay? Um, attacks become passively unblockable, but Lady Deathstrike cannot gain uh, new Ferocity charges. Uh, when the opponent activates a special one or two, 25 chance, 25 percent chance per armor up. Now, if you looked up at her uh, signature ability, it increases her max stacks to four. So that means if she has four armor ups, 100 percent chance to gain an unstoppable passive for the duration of the special while reducing the offensive ability accuracy of the attack by 15 percent per armor up. You see the armor ups. They they keep coming to a max of 20, 75%. Whew. Machine body. Oh, yeah. All right. So she starts every fight with an indefinite armor up. Okay. If the buff is removed, it restores itself after 12 seconds. So she's going to have an armor up. Uh, like a Warlock, if I remember correctly. Um, he has something similar. I don't remember how many seconds it comes back, though. Uh, every 25 hits in the combo, by the way, she has a lot of combo uh, hits in her combo, uh, grants an indefinite armor up passive, increasing armor rating by 244. 20% chance to remove a stack when struck or when blocking while in ferocity. Okay. Um, her regeneration rate cannot be modified. Uh, true damage hits remove one regeneration effect. All heal block effects on Lady Deathstrike are immediately removed, but her willpower mastery is removed for the original duration of the heal block. Okay? Now, here's one that really got me, and if you watch my rank-up video of her, you will see this in action. When struck by a special attack one or two, gain a nanobots regenerator passive for the duration of the special attack, passively regenerating 90% of hit damage taken over 0.5 seconds. Now get this, while suffering from bleed or poison, um, hello, liquid courage, that's gonna stay there, nanobots regenerate an additional 20%. That's an additional 20%. So 90% of hit damage. And if she has a poison, she's going to regenerate an additional 20%. Watch the video. See what it looks like when Winter Soldier hits her with his special two. Okay. While Death Strike doesn't have her personal armor up buff, like I said, you want to remove that armor up uh, if you're fighting her. Uh, Nano Bot Regenerator is disabled. Okay, while it's active, she becomes immune to armor breaks. Ooh, ooh, so you need to break that armor before that happens and rupture debuffs. Interesting. So she also is immune. So we've got Scorpion and Lady Deathstrike that have a rupture immunity. When intercepted, the potency of Nanobot Regenerator is reduced by 10% flat for 15 seconds. Interesting. Uh, when this effect activates, refreshes all existing stacks. All right. Second medium attack puts a heal block. I told you it was a very easy heal block to put on your opponent. Uh, inflict a heal block, preventing the opponent from healing for six seconds. Pause during Death, Spri uh, Death Strike's special attacks. Mutants Cannot gain unstoppable or unblockable effects while heal blocked. Goodbye, Weapon X. Does she seem like a hard counter for Weapon X now? 
Oh, yeah. Gonna be fun. All right. So then we've got the special attacks. You guys can uh, look at that, you know. Um, inflict a torment, causing all damaging debuffs to last six seconds longer. Um, ferocity, gain uh, attack rating. Okay. Special attack two. She gains 25 ferocity charges. Um, and it looks like that second one, when you are in ferocity, this is what you get. That second bullet point on the special one. So if you fire the special one while ferocity is active, that's what happens. Okay. And special attack two, you know, regain and pause ferocity during its duration, increased by six seconds. If this effect unpause it, it pauses again if no attack is blocked for three seconds. So I've watched some people uh, and they'll have a, a play style where they fire the special and then they try not to get hit into their block. That works if you want to really do the max damage, but I don't really see it as necessary all that much. Um, she looks like she is just a beast anyway. And then finally, that special attack three, um, gain a non-stacking relentless passive, increasing attack rating bonuses from ferocity by 35% and allowing ruptures to be inflicted through block for 30 seconds, paused while ferocity is active nasty all right so that is lady death strike hopefully that gives you a little bit more understanding of her uh i wouldn't say she needs to be awake awakened but you want her awakened um for her to do her best to be her best you want her awakened with a high sig which is why i'm taking her to sig 200 no question. Uh, if you watch the video, you'll see that I did use a generic awakening gem on her. So, yes, I feel that she is worth a generic and all the sig stones you can give her. But even unawakened, she is perfectly usable. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.